Hi, I'm EditGuy43 and this is my first video tutorial. Today I've chosen to show you how to do edge trim in Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, to begin the process you make sure that your event on your timeline is highlighted and active and then you press either the 7 or the 9 on your keyboard's keypad to activate edge trim mode. The 9 will go to the end of your clip and the 7 will go to the beginning of your clip or event as Sony calls it and uh, so what we'll do is we'll go to the end and we'll hit 9 and then you'll notice that there is a red bracket at the end of the clip indicating that you are indeed in edge trim mode and at the end of the event now in order to trim you use your 1 and your 3 on your keypad and uh, the 1 will trim one frame to the left the 3 will trim one frame to the right. So if you want to shorten your clip, you will go to hit the one key as many times as you need to shorten. And if you notice right above your cursor here is a little number indicator. That shows your seconds and frames that you have trimmed from your event. So say you want to trim a half a second from your event, you continuously hit the number one until you see a 15 uh, displayed in the little number box up there and that shows that's 15 frames or a half a second. If you want to go farther just continue to hit the one key or if you want to go faster you can hold the one key down and it will trim as long as you hold the button down. And uh, right now it says we've trimmed off two seconds from our event. If you feel you've gone too far then you can hit the three and that will back up one frame at a time each press or if you hold it down it will go back until you release. And that's very simple, very easy way to uh, frame accurately trim in Sony Vegas. Uh, if you want to trim the front of your event hit the 7 key. It goes to the front of your event and then you can hit the 3 key to trim the front of your clip off or the 1 key to you know add back what you took off. So uh, very simple ways um, to, to edit using your keypad in Sony Vegas. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial and I hope to do more. Thank you.